In this video, I will show you how to add a new worker and set up the Minerstat Mining OS, also called MSOS. To run MSOS on your rig, I suggest you use at least 16GB USB 3.0 or SSD. First, let's add a new worker to your Minerstat dashboard. Workers can be added, removed, and managed from the workers list. Navigate to Management and then click on Workers. Then click Add New Worker button. Now you will have to name your first worker. You can use lowercase and uppercase letters, numbers, dash, and underscore, but the length of the worker's name should not exceed 15 characters. Select a name that will help you easily distinguish between your other workers, for example, Rig001. Next, select the type, which can in your case be either NVIDIA or AMD, depending on your hardware. Please do note that we officially don't support rigs that mix NVIDIA and AMD cards, even though you might get it to work. Then select the system, which is in your case MSOS. You can optionally enter additional groups or locations for your worker. Type and system groups like NVIDIA, AMD, MSOS, and Windows will be automatically added to the worker. If you, for example, want to distinguish between all RX 580 and RX 560 GPU rigs, you can use groups RX 580 and RX 560. Enter the selected group name and press space or enter to confirm the group, like this. Click on Add Worker and your worker will be added to your Minerstat dashboard. If this is your first worker, you will be automatically redirected to the worker's profile with installation instructions. If not, you can click on the worker's name or eye icon on the right to enter the worker's profile. Here you can see your access key, worker's name, and two buttons. The Download MSOS button will give you an option to download the MSOS version. See which version supports your GPUs and download that one. The difference between versions is only in the drivers and kernels versions, and if you want to see more details about the version, you can hover your mouse over information icon, like this. You can download via torrent, which will be faster, or download directly. After you have clicked the download button, you will be met with the thank you page, and your download will start. It will take a few minutes for the MSOS image to download. In the meantime, you can prepare Etcher, a software that will be used for flashing that image to your drive. You can find the link to the Etcher in the description part of this video. Follow the steps in the installer and install Etcher to your computer. When the MSOS image is downloaded and Etcher installed, plug your drive to the computer and open the Etcher software. If you will be flashing to SSD, you will also need to check the unsafe mode in the settings like this. Select the MSOS image, then select your drive. Lastly, click on the flash button. It will take a couple of minutes for USB to flash, so let's wait. The flashing process is now finished. The next step is to prepare the config.js file, which will help with identifying the rig on the Minerstat dashboard. Unplug the USB or SSD from the computer and plug it back in. If the computer asks you if you want to format your drive, click No or Cancel. Then you can either download already prepared config.js from the worker's profile or edit the file from your computer. I will download it from the Minerstat dashboard. When the file is downloaded, copy and paste it into your drive to replace it. If you will edit the file directly from the drive, you can edit it with any text editor. The access key and the worker's name are both case sensitive and you can find exact values of them on the worker's profile. 
Unplug the USB or SSD drive, plug it into the rig, and boot the machine. If everything was done correctly, you will be able to see your worker online on the dashboard within a few minutes. The worker will start mining to a demo configuration, which I will show how to change in the next video.